Hello ladies and gentlemen and otherwise, what's up? My name is Devious and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Last time, Yulmore essentially declared war on the Crystarium and the freaking the battle twins here are just itching and raring to go. I want to kill an old man and I think that's pretty much it actually. Oh yeah, our boy Ardbert is um, he's having a tough time. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into it without further ado. It's been a while. I'm excited. Ooh, deep gold. Huh. Interesting. I get. Hmm. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It'll probably look cool. Hello, my friend. It's been too long. You were doubtless eager to attempt Minfilia's rescue, and with your combined strength, you may well succeed. What is this may well succeed bullshit? Excuse me, we're professionals. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. It's a stealth mission. Kill everybody. <laughs> yeah! Russian stealth. Squad! Yo, what's up? <laughs> it's not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Oh. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens, but so long as hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. Hell yeah, man. Yo! Squad up. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. Ooh, epic speech As time. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmore a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden and warned me in no uncertain terms that should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Oh yeah, people ain't happy about that. Let none be mistaken. We would be hard pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. I mean, some would even call it suicide. For you guys maybe, but you got me. And yet my heart cries out to fight. <laughs> that then relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. <sighs> This guy knows how to give a speech. Damn. There's some Optimus Prime shit here. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? This is about to be very cool. Oh yeah, dramatic pause. I see how it is. My lord, you already know our minds. <laughs> Glittered's not having it. <laughs> it brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrat deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmore's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. <laughs> I did not know that these guys were Russian. Or is, is that Russian? I'm probably fucking up again. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. <laughs> Maybe Transylvanian? I don't know. We can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? Catalyst ready to square up. I I see you. Hey, girl. We have <coughs> always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. When 
all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost, but even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Okay, Morin's one of my favorite characters now. <laughs> he, is that, he is that dork with the golden lines. Oh, I love him. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those you Moran bastards anyway. <laughs> no better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Cassard, my boy! Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, this is a great addition, my man. <laughs> it appears we have a consensus. Not a single one of them is acting worried that they're about to fight the most obvious military force in the world. Nah, they're cracking jokes and shit. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing is wrong. That the Yomoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters, and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. I like where your head's at, my guy. Here, here! Here, here! Oh, let's go to war. In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. Captain Lena getting right down to business. I. <laughs> And now suddenly everyone is slightly less intrigued. If Yulmore wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. <laughs> Will you do so as well? I never expect a group that is supposedly like the good guys to make that jump. Oh, that's wonderful. <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. I can choke slam the Undertaker. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't <laughs> you don't need to ask Alize. My lord, our proposal is as follows: we begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. All right. <laughs> He's ready. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Lightning strike. I love it. Very good. See to your preparations. <laughs> Dude, friggin' Kassard! Oh, this is wonderful. I love this. <laughs> the old lady squared up, dude. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. What exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alice. If excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. <laughs> uh, this is a wonderful change of pace. Oh shit. <laughs> I still hate that salute though. I was like, wow, this is awesome. For once, nobody's trying to stop us. Nobody's talking shit about us. Nobody is actively against us except for the enemy. Okay, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. There's still some potential shenaniganery that could be happening here. All right, Lena, what you got? So, you'll be joining the guard. But however highly the Exarch thinks of you, you will receive no special treatment from me. Is that clear? Um, give it one op. You'll be giving me all kinds of special treatment. Where's your salute? Motherfucker! I, d I don't like that salute. <laughs> <laughs> More spirited than the Exarch's feeble attempts, clearly. 
<laughs> now, first things first, you will need uniforms. Ah! Port to Catalyst, she will see you measured and fitted. Okay, we get new clothes. I'm not going to complain about that. And actually... Yeah, I dig the outfit. I'm digging the outfit. And we're barely 10 minutes in, and we're already throwing down. I am enjoying this. But yeah, first <laughs> first day back in a long time. Like, hey, let's go to fucking war! And there's the last of them. Your friends are being measured as we speak. Right this way, we'll see to it. You <laughs> you're dashing best for your first outing. I... Um... Sounds? I'm about to look like goth version of Lena. Done, are you? Let's have a look at those numbers. Um... <laughs> tall! The answer is tall! Mm, I see. How goes it? Sorry, Captain, I'm afraid we don't have anything on hand that's a ready fit. Well, that's awkward. But we do have a few that are fairly close. We should be able to make them work with some minor adjustments. Very well, then. See to it. And have the uniforms delivered, delivered directly to the field. I shall take this opportunity to brief you on the mission. Alright. Call it, Captain. Oh! Oh, this is cool! As mentioned earlier, we will deploy Amaru to scatter dream powder from the, from the air. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. Engagement is to be avoided wherever possible. Okay. Good old smash and grab. I assume we're to be part of said unit? <clears throat> Correct. The unit will be divided into two contingents, one deployed from Fort Job and the other from Port, from the Astal Imperative. Okay, I don't remember that for some reason. Unit Alpha and I will join the former. Luna, meanwhile, will join the latter with me. <laughs> two extremely dangerous bunny girls in a special ops squad. Oh, this ain't gonna go wrong at all. <laughs> Before you proceed to your positions, you are to report to Chesamil at Spagarix. Okay. She will issue you a serum to ward off the effects of dream powder. Yeah, that's probably important. We shall be on our way then. Take care, my friend, and we will see you in the field. Yes, you will. <laughs> it's quite far to the imperative, so you may may make use of an Amaro from the Rookery. After you have collected the serum, of course. Yep, thanks for that. I don't like that salute. It still bothers me. Alright! Let's get to work. Hello, Chesamil. How are you? Yes, sweetie. Is there something you need? Oh, what have the god come for your dram, are you? Here you go. A dose of this will keep you firmly in the waking world while your enemies are off in dreamland. Hell yeah. Now, if this is your first time, I should warn you, it's bitter as sin. Princess Kiss, they call it. But if you ask me, it should be Crone's Kiss. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. <laughs> I love all of the people here. They're all so colorful. Everybody has such a personality just by looking at them. I love it. Just aside, the stuff really is foul. Most people gag like this no tomorrow. But if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to Dreamland yourself. So, I must ask you to drink it here and now while I watch. Come on, give give the old crone a kiss. <laughs> All right. There it goes. Oh god. Well done, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd even say you enjoyed it. <laughs> I am gonna slap you, old lady. Um, now you needn't fear falling asleep on the battlefield. Just have care you don't lose any limbs out there, alright? 
they don't tend to grow back. It's it's only it's Tuesday. <laughs> Where am I going? Right here. <laughs> ah yes, Zim Jinmai. I miss doing your voice, dude. Talk to me. Yes. What do you require of me? I require a steed in a fucking battle. And a motto to take you to the Imperative, eh? Yes. As much as I would like to oblige, all our mounts are reserved for the coming operation. I fear you will have to go by foot. Alright. Mm, but wait. There might be another way, assuming you are willing to lend a hand. Hell yeah, brother! Give me that chest. I'm not gonna pop that open now, but I will put that over here. <laughs> Ooh, useful. Deep gold weapon coffer. Oh my. Zem Jinmai has a task for you, should you be willing. I was about to deliver an amaro to Radiska's round. One of the locations whence the beasts will fly for the operation. The tower lies along the route to the Imperative. If near, if near enough is good enough for you. <laughs> I like that. You may make the delivery in my stead. Very good. I shall ready the Amaro for departure at once. My man. We fly! Oh, wow. That was actually... I didn't expect us to just yeet all the way out here. That's fine. Radiska's round is north and west. You can take the road if you... You can take the road or you can fly. It's, it's up to you. Upon arriving, make yourself known to this entry and she will give you further instructions. If you should become separated from the Amaru, worry not. The beasts are trained to return to the rookery. That is all. Go well. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, he can just fly! Hell yeah. This is so much better than walking like a peasant! Dude, these things are cool. Like, they're derpy as shit, but... Frickin' four-winged avian raptor something? Hell yes. Frickin' four-winged velociraptor, pretty much. It's like, yeah, look at his face! I like that music. Yeah, it was Gucci. Oh, you're delivering that Amaro to us? I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. We already have all the beasts we require here. Instead, this one is to go to the Imperative to the west. See, the, Please see it to the handler on duty, Zeli Vanatheu. If you encounter trouble along the path, return here and I'll set you rightwise. Alright. Oh, behold! The lion, the witch, and we out this bitch! Hello! Ah, the last Amaro. Thank you, my friend. My, my thanks, friend. You may leave the beast with me. Alright. Say, I don't believe I know you. Did you join the guard recently? Sure. <laughs> Just go with a yes. Ah, so that is the way it is. Well, uh, well, you managed to arrive, and that's all that matters in the end. I bid you welcome to the Austal Imperative, one of our key strongholds in the Lakeland. The first thing you'll want to do is report to the captain. You'll find her at the lookout across the way. Awesome. What's good, Captain Lane? Have a look at So, it seems that rather than the Amaro delivering you, you deliver the Amaro. I'll not thank you. I expect my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. For fuck's sake, let me kill things! Ooh! Fabulous. I could go do all this stuff right now. Because Lizzie already helped me get all of the Aether flows, but ask eh, her, it'll do it later. Ooh! Those look like trash! I'm gonna be real with you, Jesus Christ! Them stats, they're horrible. The operation fast approaching, Lena means to put you to work. Ugh. In readiness for the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. 
As you all know, however, it is not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sprinkled it into their fodder. All that remains is to feed it to them. A task I am sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amara launch and see to four of the beasts. Dismissed. Alright, Lena is very efficient. I like her. I like her a lot. Gwee, gwee, gwee. Amaro happily devours the fodder. Hell yeah! I hope you're not starving them to get this effect, because that's cruel, man. That's not okay. Why am I walking when I could hover slightly above the ground? I didn't mean to take this bird, but hey! We'll deal with it now. Indolent tomato. Sup, bruv? Click the thing. Jesus Christ. Get your head out of my face! Amaro absent-mindedly munches on the fodder. Alright, I'll take that. Anxious Amaro. Oh, He's talking to me! Amaro is wary at first, but appetite eventually wins out and accepts the fodder. Excellent! Last one, buddy. Grr. Amaro reels at the smell, but effect accepts the fodder nonetheless. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. Alright, Lena, we are ready to go. Amaro fed? Yeah. Good. The rest have already been dosed, so we need not fear any of our mounts succumbing to the dream powder. All units have now entered the final stages of the preparation. The time is nigh. Make ready and await deployment atop the main watchtower. I will send your uniform along as soon as it arrives. That is all. May night smile upon us. I know, right? I gotta go all the way up there, don't I? Finally! Ugh, I've been here for like ten feckin' years. Alright, let's do this. Operation is about to commence. Stand ready. <laughs> oh yeah! Some of my gear will be glamoured, your attributes and abilities will be unaffected. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh -huh. Okay, so that breaks me down to that level. That's fine. Excuse me whilst I munch slightly. She knows what's up. Keep moving. Careful, boy. Their armor looks pretty cool, by the way. Right. They're, they're committing some uh, what now? Some basic armor sins, but I mean, it's functional. Have some pixie dust, bitch! <laughs> No, no, no. It'll take more than a handful of overgrown lizards to ground us. <laughs> yeah, wait till I get there. Off to Dreamland, yeah, babes. <laughs> there we go. That's a cool axe, man. The alarm? Where did that you come from? Take a rest, bitch! <laughs> Ooh, here we come! Ooh! Alright. Okay! My girl looking good in that outfit! Hello! Ooh! Well, howdy, Cap. Captain, the powder has taken effect. Let's get to work. It is time. Let us free the Oracle from their clutches. 
Oh yeah. Nothing I like more than a good raid, baby. Mount up, boys! And girls. <laughs> oh yeah. It's Gunbreaker Cavalry time. Let's fucking go! It's bothering me how much the gun blade is riding up on my back. Uh, has it always done that and I just not noticed? I think it has. Okay. Yo, square up. Let's do this. Oh no, they're not looking at me. You really should be looking at the entrance. Ugh, excuse me. Imagine that. This freaking goth gun bunny comes strutting in in enemy colors and just barbs like a motherfucker right in front of everybody. Well, hello there, boys! Oh, wait, these are friendly. <laughs> these are friendlies, I'm a moron! <laughs> What's your wage, women, Philia? For the Sup, boys? Why, hello! Woohoohoohoo! Explosion! Yeah, boy! Alright. Oh. Keep close to the wall. Oh, we're going this way. Okay. I was like, dude, come on, let's just fight up the center. I can do it. A unit. Friendo! Friendo, why are you... Oh, you're okay. You're just taking a break. That's fine. What's up, motherfucker? Yo. Lena got some spice. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
absolute units come sprinting at you in the middle of an open war. <laughs> Bro, I would fucking run. Ah. I was actually gonna hit him with a big combo. It's okay, it's fine. Get him on the next one. It's relatively clear. Good. Why are you slurping? Did we go up here? Yeah! We climb. Alright, square up. Who next? Well, hello oh. there, dear friends! Uh, excuse me. You are fighting me! Ah, uh, guess what you get, my guy? You get the full combo! I am become death! <laughs> oh! Here she is. I got you, go! Let's get the hell up out of here. This is where Thancred comes flying in out of nowhere. Thank you. Are you from the Crystarium? Yes! Correct, we've come to rescue you. Weapons. Maybe these are the same specifications as Thancred's. Be ready to use them. Wait a minute. Understood. Please lead the way. Wait. So she's either also a dancer or a gunbreaker. That would be weird. Oh no, she's a rogue! Okay. That threw me off so bad. Amphilia, don't you dare apologize. I did this because I felt like it. Okay, I thought that this was going to be a, a Thancred thing. Or I thought there was going to be a Gunbreaker thing because Thancred's a Gunbreaker in the thing. What the hell? Is it Runji? This will not end well. Oh, hell yeah, baby! Bring it on! <laughs> going on here? What's all this then? Oh, he's a summoner. <laughs> Brazen thieves. You can't steal a person, bitch. You'll regret coming here. Fight me, you little bitch! Oh, I want this motherfucker! Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. GET IN THERE! Wrong button, but it's okay. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? Pardon me, bitch. You're paying attention to me. Apparently not. Um, Lena, why are you taking? Oh shit! Why is she taking so much damage? Oh, he was hitting, he was hitting feeling. That's not good. It's fierce beyond reckoning. We are outmatched. I disagree. Um, I can't move. Oh, shit! When did I hit enter? God, that's annoying. Alright. Combo time. You think you do damage. That's adorable. I see. A bit of a problem, I admit.
damage. Come on, big damage. There we go. Let's say when it hits, I want it to blast me out of the path of anything. Seems you are no ordinary soldier. You're goddamn right, I'm a fucking godslayer. Oh no. Nailed it. <laughs> Guess what time it is? Why do you persist this folly? Uh because I'm a fucking unit and screw you. Okay, let's see where this is going. That one's gonna hit, and mine. All is well. It's alright, I'll just smack you from out here. How long am I gonna have to fight this guy? Like, for real. Oh, this is a long fight. It's no, it is not. Okay, that actually did some damage. Also, you kind of a bitch. No, you're folly. I'm still regening, bruv. I got more than enough health to kick your ass. Come on. Fight me, you little bitch. <laughs> uh, I hate it when they do that. I understand why they do that, but I hate it when they do that. Okay, so where's Thancred? You boy, you bear a striking resemblance to the artist my master seeks. Don't you start. By all means, keep your counsel. You will all have ample time to confess your crimes back in Yule. Oh yes, please, take me back to Yulemore. That won't turn out badly for you at all. And... Dramatic entrance! My boy. Yo! Woohoohoo! My man! My boy looking fresh! You are the wretch who stole her from us. Oh, give it a second. And what if I am? What? You really should have expected that, my guy. Thancred, come on, you are not this You're not this helpless man. such as you are not worthy of the oracle. Fight me again. See what happens. Ha <laughs> what you planning, bruv? Whoa. What? Oh, my man! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, Thancred, you absolute unit. I love you so much. Where are you going? Oh, he's about to... Don't you dare. Oh! <laughs> you may kneel. <laughs> hey, what's Gucci? What's good? Fool. You would see your city raised. Bring it. 
I would sooner see it raised than conquered. Suffice it to say, we are ready to receive you. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Exarch? <laughs> Will you face me yourself? I think not, General. I've quite exhausted my tricks. <laughs> it's so chill. If you mean to give checks, I will not stand in your way. But you would do well to tread warily, for your quarry goes to a place where even your more dare not bear its steel. Ilmeg, the fairy kingdom. Oh shit! Okay, we're enlisting the Fae, I see. <laughs> oh, man. Who's this? To think that mountain of indolence still had the energy to unleash his hounds. Wait a minute. Even the most pointless of conflicts may Wait. alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. Oh, for fuck's sake, why are you here? But how? How did the so-called Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the source to the first? How did you get here? Well, you're... You're one As of them fuckboys. I didn't have on my hands already. <sighs> then again... With a soul such as that. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. I don't like where this is going. Not so long ago, here in the shadow of the northern ranges, lay the great kingdom of Verbert. Verbert. A nation with a proud history. But the Sin Eaters cut short, just like all the rest. Since that time, these lands have become a haven for Fey folk. Dreamers frolicking amidst the ruins of a forgotten realm. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. The natural aversion to the Fae, and it is just screaming right now. We should be safe enough here. Good to see you too, dude. It's good to see you again, my friends. I don't know about you, but it feels like years since last we met. Five of them in my case. <laughs> Why, it only feels like one to me, but long enough to warrant a more convivial reunion either way. What brought you to Laxon Loft? The girl, Minfilia. She and I were traveling together, hunting Sin Eaters. But as we were nearing Lakeland, she abruptly ran off on her own. I found her too late to stop the Ulmorans from taking her prisoner. And as I was considering rescue options, I observed that the Crystarium was on the move. <laughs> so I consulted the Exarch, who apprised me of the details of the operation and issued me certain instructions. Should the situation take a turn for the worse, I was to see you all safely to Ilmeg. And here we are. All right. Coordination. I'm digging it. Orianger has called this place home for a while now. Oh! Yet we have never called upon him, I am ashamed to say. It was only at the Crystarium that we met. Man, we're getting the band back together. Hell yeah! Hardly surprising. This is not the sort of place one visits on a whim. Uh, I don't like that stuff in the air. All of this makes me Happily, nervous. having trespassed on Orianger's hospitality for a spell, 
Minfilia and I have an idea of how things work around here. Sooner or later, the Ulmorans will come after us. But before they do, the Exarch bids us accomplish two things. First, rendezvous with Orianger. Goes without saying. And second, eliminate the Light Warden of this land. Alright, that's pretty easy. Let's get to work. <laughs> so, Minfilia. What made you leave Thancred behind, if you don't mind me asking? That's a good question, actually. I don't remember what she said in the cutscene. Your eyes are freaking me out. You. The hero from another world. I was asleep when I felt it. A presence. Someone I was meant to meet. They were close and... And I knew I had to go to them. But with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmore. Easy, bruv. And now we have Ranjit snapping at our heels. You really have outdone yourself this time. You are not one to talk, fuckboy. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. Oh, poor thing being scolded so. Don't you fucking start with me, alright? No, 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 no! Loading gun blade with malicious intent. Don't you start with me. Show yourselves. I am getting an uncomfortable amount of flashbacks. Which way was it to Uriange's? We've been there so many times, but I'm not. I can't. Why can't I remember? Damn it all. We're already caught in their spell. Yep. <laughs> See, this is the part in a D&D campaign where I would just go lopping down trees just to make noise and cause havoc. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, Hell and James slash Lizzie again every single time. Uh, Meg is the Fairy Kingdom, and as one might expect, it is home... Oh, Hill Meg. It is home to the Fae Folk. The most prominent among them are the Pixies, who have a penchant for making mischief. I see. They use powerful illusions to play tricks on all those who venture into their domain. <coughs> By way of example, you can make a familiar path seem... They can make a uh, familiar path seem wholly unfamiliar, or it leads you to believe you're somewhere you're not. And... We are now, I'm sorry to say, entirely at their mercy. I don't know about those particular words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, that is going to be it for this particular episode. I know it's probably a little bit more of a short one in relation to things, and good lord hell, that is a very skimpy outfit back there. Slight turn. <laughs> this is YouTube. we got to think about eventual monetization. But anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like and a comment down below. You know I always love seeing them. Say a little Lizzie back there because of reasons. And, of course, the good old Enkidu. Uh, if you would like to join me and Yon Chaos crew, there's a Discord link down below. We do a lot of grinding and just general chilling on a fairly regular basis. And yeah, if you guys would like to see more, drop click that subscribe button, right house the bell next to it, so YouTube Empire remembers to tell the almighty algorithm chan that I exist whenever I upload. 
Aside from that, y'all have a wonderful day. Now we'll see y'all next round.